Hello, welcome back to my channel. As I said, or posted somewhere, I think it was on my Facebook, that I was going to be doing video on, and I'm sorry, I'm barely even thinking today, on Joseph, it's Joseph, right? Awake, three month size. And I'm going to try to take you through the whole process with me, which is kind of hard because I don't like to talk a lot when I'm painting and everything. And I'm not the greatest on camera, you know, my, my TV skills are lacking. Anyway, let's get started. Um, I'm going to use the Genesis heat set paste for him. And also like, I have this color wheel and he's more in the peachy section. So if you see this very little edge here, so I'm gonna neutralize him with this blue color here to the best of my ability. So let's add a little bit of thinner to this. Maybe a couple capsules because he's a big baby, so I'm gonna make sure I get enough for the wash. I am wearing a, um, a mask and gloves for painting because this is paint thinner and stuff and everybody's on the hype about chemicals and breathing in stuff and all that so and, you know i mean it's true you should be careful you know because i mean paint thinner might be odorless but there's still vapors so i have some windows open and i think everything's open yeah and i have a fan on and i'm protected so get started here and let's get this mixed up nice and thin you're not gonna want it to be very dark because if it's too dark, it will, won't ruin your baby. So you don't want that. So I'm just gonna keep adding paint until I get the right consistency, which is super thin, really. I mean, it's definitely more thinner than paint, but you gotta have enough that you're actually creating a hue. So you wanna be careful. You wanna just add a little at a time. Genesis is very highly pigmented, so you don't need a lot at all in order to uh, achieve a good color. You just want it to kind of run clear, but, le but leave very little behind. That's how I like to do it with my washes. This is the neutralizing wash. I mean, I could get on without neutralizing him, but I don't know, he looks a little bit peachy to me, so I'm gonna take that down a notch. And as you, I don't know if you can see, but I'm putting it on my paper towel so it shows the paint color. Looks like it should be good. I'm stirring it and stirring it and stirring it. I wanna make sure it's mixed in very well. It does separate after a while, so you always wanna mix your Genesis before starting, okay? And I'm actually going to do a little test thing. Let me rinse my brush out real good, real quick. I want to make sure I don't have any clumps of paint on my brush before starting this. And I'm going to stir this one more time really good. Wipe it off. I'm going to do a little test thing right here on the flange. That's the smart way to do it. You want to make sure that it's going to neutralize, but not turn the kit blue, you know, per to say. I don't want to turn it blue. Let's see. Try a little bit on this side. Might be a little bit too much paint. I'm not sure yet. Just gonna wash it. I'm just testing it on the flange because I want to make sure that I didn't make it too pigmented. a teeny bit more thinner it might be a little bit too pigmented not by a lot but a little bit so I'm gonna add a little bit more thinner thinner you don't want to 
You don't want it to be too pigmented. That'll mess up your kit. And it's gonna be a little bit, because you can always apply more if you need to. You don't wanna, you don't want it to be too dark to begin with. You do want to go light. So if you, that way, if it's really, really super thin and you almost don't see it, that's okay because you can always add more layers. You don't want to um, overdo your washes. And I think that's gonna be fine the way it is. So I'm gonna get my brush here. And I'm actually gonna stir it really good now with my paintbrush. I'm going to apply it to my cosmetic wedge because you wanna get your, your wedge wet and you wanna put some color on it. That's how I do it. Cause that way you're, you know, you're not gonna take color off. You don't wanna, you don't want it to be too dry, I don't think, because then you would take all your color off. I don't, I don't want it to be too dry. And when I pounce it, I wanna see a little bit of a hue. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. And what I do is I'm just gonna take my paint mix and I'm gonna stir it. And for this guy, I'm gonna use this blue color. And I'm just gonna put it everywhere. I like Genesis because <laughs> you got all the time in the world pretty much to do this. I mean, if you use the air dry paints like I was trying to do, they dry up pretty fast on you. They don't give you a whole lot of time to uh, work. I mean, I work kind of fast when I do my washes anyway. I don't want them drying too quickly, even Genesis, because I'm still going to leave like patchy spots. So I apply it on really liberally. And I'm just going to wash over his whole head. You know, basically that's why it's called a wash. I'm just going to wash every crack and crevice with that everywhere. Leave out nothing. Wash, wash, wash. And I keep stirring, as you can tell, because I don't like the paint to separate. I want to try to keep the same color consistency throughout the whole entire process here. And then once I think I got it coated really well, and and I mean everywhere, you know, up the nose, under this neck roll, everywhere, I'm going to then take my cosmetic wedge that I have wet already, and I'm gonna pounce, 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 pounce. And you wanna kinda get it out of the creases as quickly as you can because you don't want it settling in the ears and stuff too much and getting stuck there and turning it blue. You want to, you still wanna take it off relatively quickly, especially the major specks of it, like you'll see like, you know, a bigger hue of it, because the kit, has nothing on it right now, so it's very porous, so you're going to, it's gonna soak in right away. So, I mean, I do have a clean brush here if I need to pounce inside the ears, which I think I might actually do. Just get some of that out of there. There we go. And I can see right away how this is turning much paler. It's taking away that orange. And it has been a while since I've painted. I have been very busy. I work outside of my home. Reborning's not the only thing I do. And, uh, you know, there's just a lot going on in life. And uh, I live life, so it's hard to get back to my painting. But... I would like to do it a lot more often. You guys can all like and subscribe to my channel, and that'll help me want to make more videos and stuff too, you know? So, I can just like sit here and talk with everybody while I paint. I'm going to continue, as you can see, to keep pouncing. I don't want to leave anything unpounced. Nice, even pouncing. Make sure that I coat this very well. You don't want to leave spots. So he's a big guy, so it does get tiresome on the hands and stuff already to to be pouncing this much. But it's gonna be really cute when he's done. You don't want to leave any brush marks, so you want to make sure that you pounce over the entire baby, checking for any brush strokes or anything from when you put on your neutralizer. 
I don't want to leave that behind. It's kind of hard to realize whether you've pounced over it or not because... <laughs> It does kind of dissipate, so it almost doesn't look like you're doing anything. So trying to follow where you pounced is a little difficult. But I just kind of go over it a few times. It won't hurt anything. Um, that's why I have paint on the I mean, on the wedge too. You're not going to really take it off. And I'll go from the eye to the ear, around the back of the ear, and then the neck, and then I go up the back of the head, you know, trying to make sure I get all that, and then, because it's hard, you know, to kind of, for me, like, where did I pounce that? I don't even know. Make sure that you do a good job. He's heavy. I'm going to hand cramp already, guys. He did with cramp when he did Yeah, these big guys are hard. That's why I don't do a lot of the big babies, but he is just too cute. I had to do him, so... Like I said, this is not professional video of any kind, so huh, there's going to be a lot of pouncing and pausing and non-talking. So, I mean, if you can make it through watching it, that's great. I mean, like I said, um, right now the biggest information that I can give you is we're going to wash the baby. I mean, just put it on and pounce it to perfection. And then, yeah, I mean, I even went up the nose with it, so I want to make sure I get that out of there. Leave it up the nose. Yeah, I see a difference in the tone already. Big time. So. Behind the bowl. Yeah. yeah. The head in the bowl. I won't put the head in the bowl. But anyway, at least I hope I won't. The head's probably my least favorite thing to do with washes because it just seems like, or even skin, because it just takes forever to get every little bit because you got this big, giant, bald surface here. <laughs> and you're like, I don't even know where I was last or how this is going to work. So. so, yeah, let me just stop there and look them over a little bit. Let's see what I got. Probably need, don't I have a smaller clean bouncy bounce brush thing? Somewhere? No. And if you still think you see some little wet spots or maybe some lines, you can just take this clean little cosmetic like brush thing and pounce anyway on top of that because I want to make sure I don't leave marks. No extra blue in the creases or any of that. I mean, he's a pretty light peachy tone. I don't know if I'm going to do this more than once. Or not. We'll see, maybe. He didn't as even toned as I can here. All right, I don't see any like major blue spots left behind, so that's the important thing. It's kind of hard for me to stay in camera, guys. It's way over there and I'm way over.